Hi everyone. Today, the, you will learn about the vertex for, for object, especially attribute of vertex. You can change the the vertex color of triangles. Okay. So before start uh, class, the, you must learn the WebGL lecture one and two before start class. Then you can download the code sample code from this git site please practice with the code let's go to class okay last class we learned how to send vertex buffer data and how to create vertex buffer and then how to send data to here and then we need to change some, we need some kind of information or attribute or vertex with, with, uh, but with uh, various kind of things. So, okay, so how can you do that? So, we need to learn the WebGL API to do that, okay? So, attribute is in here, okay? So it is used as input of vertex shader, and then attribute should be should be consumed in a vertex shader processors. So I said that in in actual pipeline class, I said that the, this attribute is so multiple, okay, multiple, and then it is processed in parallel, okay. So for example, it, the, the, for example, in a, NVIDIA Tegra 4 GPU, there is a six, six GPU arithmetic unit. So, the the multiple vertex attributes should be divided into the vertex shape, vertex processors, and then it is processed it with in parallel. So, so, so we need. It, the vertex attribute, vertex attributes is a separate attribute value for each vertex. Okay, but but uniform is different. Is uniform use the common variable? So all all uh, all vertex processing unit use same uniform. Okay, same uniform, but it does it has different vertex group vertex attribute. Group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six. The different vertex attributes are used to e as input over each processing unit. Okay, so let's go to how can you use the vertex attribute? Okay, so of course we need to use WebGL API to change vertex attributes or add vertex attributes. Okay, so you need to know one the one attributes that is the read read only attributes the G GL max vertex attributes. Maybe it is used as used like that in WebGL GL dot max. Okay, so in OpenGL yes the GL on the bar is used, but in in WebGL GL dot Max vertex attribute. It must be will be must be bigger than eight. So we can use more than eight vertex attributes. But how can you decide it? So we can we can read this variable, then we can get the, the number. Okay. So th the question is maybe in in very big big uh, GPU, then it'll be 16. Oh yeah, that, that is 16, so I can use 16 vertex attributes. Is it recommendable? No. In that case, we developed with the max vertex attribute with the 16, then it means that it is not possible to execute on the GPU with small number of uh, the max vertex attributes it, 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 it is not good 
because, for example, I can I, I can execute this WebGL WebGL program in PC environment, but it is not possible to smartphone environment. That is some, sometimes sometimes that is a big problem. Okay, so I recommend you maintain your vertex of number of your vertex attribute number less than eight. It is recommendable. So who decided this number? Of course, a standard organization defined this number. Okay, so Kronos defined it at minimum. At minimum, you should you should uh, support at least the, the eight vertex attribute should be supported. So if you not sub, if you your device, if some vendor's device does not support the less than eight. Then it, it, you cannot say it is OpenGL ES hardware or WebGL supporting hardware. Okay, so we call it uh, conformance test of standard. Okay, and then uh, we can uh, set the value of vertex attribute with uh, vertex attribute one two three point. It means that you can choose it, and then uh, we set index, and then we can. Set the value. If 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 vertex attribute attribute two f, then we there is two parameters. Three has three the vertex attribute value. For example, x y z, and four in that case the x y z w will be used. If the function has three parameters, it means that it means that array. Vector. So, in that case, only array value is used for as parameter of of GL uh, vertex attribute. Okay. Then I will explain again. You don't worry about that. Attribute get function. So we can sometimes we need to get some information of uh, current attribute or something. So, for example. We can enable the vertex attribute array, and then we can disable vertex attribute array. So, so with number of vertex attribute index, then we can turn on and turn off. And sometimes we need to know we need to know the what the, the number of active attributes. Then the, in, we can get by get active attribute function, and then. Oh, it is uniform. It will be explained later, and then we will. S we need to know the get attribute location with string name. What it means? What it means? Okay, the vertex shader is is kind of a source code. In the view of JavaScript, it is kind of a string. So we need to know we need to know the the what is used as a parameter the attribute name. I will show you it in source code. Okay, for example, in vertex shader code, vertex shader code, yeah, vertex shader source code. It is string. Then there is attributes. Attributes high p back for my vertex. There is only one vertex attributes. Then it is a source code, and in a view of JavaScript, it is a kind of a string in in the string. We need to know that. Where is it? So we need to know some location of my vertex attributes. So let's check the location locations. Okay, like this. So okay, bind the attribute location. Okay, we bind the attribution location with my vertex is set to here. Okay, let's summarize that. Okay, so we. If you, if we want to use VVO, in in any case, we need to to assign the string attribute name 
that we need to assign the, the, the index number. So we need, we call it is bind attribute location. Okay. So for example, in our code, that, that, that name was my vertex. So my vertex, so bind into the number of zero. Then when you want to use that attribute, so we can send, we can set the data with pointer. So vertex attribute pointer. So it means that index is index, this index, same index. Okay. So size, type, full, normalized, stride. We will, we will learn again, but some, okay, type is the byte short unsigned fixed float. So, so do you remember that in our code, we used the, the data type was the floating point 32. So we should use float then. So some kind of normalize. Okay. Normalize is that so it means normalize. So when you are using the floating point does not have any issues. So, but in case of uh, some unsigned byte or unsigned short coordinate is used as input, then we need to change its value. So for example, the minimum number of byte is minus 182, uh, 128 to plus 127. So if we set the Boolean value of normalize, then then set to true, then it changes into minus 1.02 one plus 1.0 so so naturally it became to so how can you do that so we need so we add 0, 0 0.5 to here then it, it will it will be changed into minus 127.5 then we divide into 120 7.5 then we can get this value so it means that if we normalized it we cannot get we we can get minus 1.0 and plus 1.0 but we cannot get exactly the same value as 0, 0.0 it is because in case of input value is 0 then it, it changed into plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 now divide into 127.5 so it is not exactly 0, 0.0 so so we cannot get the exactly exact number of zero okay and then integers okay so normalized and then stride is stride and offset is is the v if if the array has many values so we if we want to use this this value or this value then we can change the the, the something so the stride stride is that is that in case of vertex is in here next vertex will be will be in here so the how how long long each vertex attribute is stored. So long stride means that, it, for example, is 32 byte or 64 byte, that kind of thing. And then offset is, if we want to use the, from here, so from I want to use data with start with the the six, 17 bytes or some 19 or Menu, that kind of starting point we can define it. okay so it should be yeah the, the must be multiple of type size okay so in case of a floating then it, it is the the four the time job yeah multiple multiple of four so it is because floating point sorry to be the floating point is four byte so and something we need to check it there is another function setting, but we already learned in previous page. The, there is uh, some functions of vertex attribute and then function. Uh, it is floating point. So, so we can understand that. So, okay. okay we, if we want to send the vertex attribute with this array value, then it is possible. Then 
one, two, three, four means that, okay, if data is stored like uh, x1, y1, z1, and then x2, y2, z2, like that, then we need to use vertex attribute three. So, because attribute has three component, and then it is array, so we need to add v. So, okay, so, oh yeah, it is possible to send data with this function. Okay, we can understand it. And then, but the, if vertex attribute one, two, three, four, f and value, so it means that vertex function can be used in, for example, index zero. I want to set the index zero to, to x, y, z. Then, this is something strange. Why? So I will go back to here. So I said that the vertex is multiple. Vertex attribute is multiple. It is divided into something. So it goes to here, it goes to here, it goes to here. Then process it in multiple, in parallel. So, but in setting, setting over attribute with the, the with attribute three F, then I will set something to X, Y, Z. So it means that, it means that it is not just one value, not multiple value. So sometimes it is used for setting all attributes with the same value. For example, sometimes I I changed it into the, the triangle color with a vertex, different vertex color or something. And then, oh, I want to change it into black color to test it. So if I call this one, then all vertex is, has, have, have same, but all vertex have same, same vertex attribute value. It is very useful for testing or checking the code. Okay. So this is what it, what is used for yeah, checking. Before the before we add one more attribute, so we will we should learn to how to how to make vertex attributes. Oh yeah, I, I, I said there are two ways, but it it is it is there's another way. So so, so three ways because because we learned this one. Okay. Okay, so there is three way. The one more way is special way is so setting to to constant the one value. Okay, it, but it is not normal case. Okay. In normal, we can we can categorize two ways of making vertex attributes. One is, for example, we have three attributes: position coordinate x, y, z, the three component. So, and then we need color attribute four, and then st texture coordinate two, uv coordinate two. So totally, totally number of, number of variables is 11 with three, one, two, three, four, attributes okay be careful the number of attributes the maximum number of attributes is eight so, so, so some somebody can think that oh i want i i you already use x y z so i already consumed that three three attributes no x y z is one attributes one attributes okay in this example, there is four attributes and with with eleven variables. Okay, so there are two way of the first thing is okay. I can make a array with like this. So array A is x one y one z one r one g one b one alpha one and then s one t one u one v one. Okay. Then, then go to next vertex. It is, we can say that it's vertex zero, 
So vertex next vertex vertex one is x two y two z oh two z is uh, red two green two blue two okay that kind of thing is possible. Okay, we can make array like this. Another way is structure of array. So it means that we 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 need to we can make it like this. So a is x one y one z one z x two y two z two. So, so first the attribute is stored in in one array, and then we can send it into like this red green blue red green blue alpha that kind of two different array. So so I will test it in, in code, but we I can recommend it the the. The, the array of structure is much better than structure of array. It is because so we need to send this data separately. So we need we need two command. So it is not good thing to process it with multiple command. Even though we can process it with one command, okay? We cannot recommend that. So. It the the structure of array had had bad performance. The, it it is hard to management and number of command is increasing. So we recommend I recommend use array of structure. Okay, and let's draw two triangle with it for the color. Okay, let's go to code. So I cannot recommend the, the it is not a good good way to implement it, but I will implement with uh, with uh, multiple arrays first. Okay, so let's check it from the start. There is nothing to change it. Okay, initialize GL. There is not no uh, information related to to vertex. So. So I will change some part of structure so I, because I will use it use it later. So so there is a set, uh, six vertex data in here. So and I want to change it into vertex data. Data is global. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll remove. It. I'll move remove it and I copied it. It means that I change it into global variable. I because I want to, I want to change the 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 value of each vertex. Okay, so and element data also moved into global variable, and then I think it works well. But I want we want to change it into we we want to add one more attributes. So I can add one more attributes in global variable vertex data but call I will change it color data equals okay then color data is RGBA A is opacity so I will set it in 1.0 red color green color zero zero and blue color 1.0 and then alpha is as the perfectly opaque value and then I will copy it three four five six and then I close it okay send clone and we don't need it okay to change the color then I will change the value okay and and one and yeah, I want yeah. So I cannot know that, but it is all all six vertexes different value. And then initialize buffer. Buffer is Im important because okay, they made the the protein point or array the the buffer. Here buffer okay, vertex buffer is is used for for this vertex data. So I will copy three lines in here. Okay, paste it. And then and then I made create buffer 
uh, vertex buffer is color buffer and then bind buffer is yeah color buffers and then change the the data is color data then so naturally the the new buffer is created the and then it stores the color buffer data color data color data this color data is stored into this new color buffer vertex buffer object okay and then so oh it is used for element buffer okay we don't have to touch it the pragmatic shader code vertex shader code should be changed okay so in vertex color in vertex color okay we will learn the vertex shader and pragmatic shader how to program it how to manage it but now we need to check the at new attributes so we will briefly change the the vertex shader and pragmatic shader code okay so it's very mechanical work so i copied it and then it is rgba in so, so size for vector and then my i set it at uh, my color okay then my color is input with the attributes and then i should use it so i set i make one varying variable color okay that is high p vector 4 color okay and i added it and then color is color is same as my color okay and then varying varying is used for sending data from vertex shader to pregnant shader so pregnant shader should have this one same as vertex shader and then it it should be used so i changed it, in, it into into yes yeah color so original code was defined uh, color is a constant variable but now change it into it is came from vertex attributes and then send it into varying value Varying value is set to geo fragment color is set to to color so it is m same as my color okay then you can get the changed code and then and then we need to find the, the vertex you know, so, some vertex related things then there is oh yeah okay so we check that some get location or something so we need to know and we need to bind something so okay vertex uh, okay so vertex shader is compiled and and then so my vertex is used as a, some kind of a attribute location so we can use the the vertex location two is one change it into we cannot use same value because because it is index so my color is one we will assign the index into one my color is one my vertex is zero so we can access it with that number and then and then okay there is no 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 okay let's check the 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 the, the same we we added the the, the error checking code okay so we need to check the app my color so and then render scene okay render scene clear color we can change clear color with more dark thing i changed into dark or back window and then it is clear color bit clear so 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 scene is cleared and then and then okay transform matrix we will learn later and then gl you can see that gl atti vertex attribute array zero is enabled to draw with color then we need to enable number one 
also okay and then okay we need okay gl vertex attribute pointer then so we need to copy it and then okay in case of a uh, color then it we need in in case of a vertex position and x y z so, so we need to change it into four so then okay gl draw element so with the six vertex okay then it works and then let's check the result okay. draw ah reload it okay so but the problem is there is no triangle is appears okay i found bug so so bug was in a uh, render scene so original sample code of render scene has problem okay for example we make two buffers so so i add i add the gl bind buffer also option in here and and here so before we enable it the, we need to bind buffer to what we defined but before that it it the, the gl bind buffer does not exist because the the gl bind buffer is in the code of initialize the buffer so in case of just one buffer then use it in multiple time then it is, it is no problem but in case of the multiple buffer it is in vertex buffer object then we should choose when you are using when you, we need to choose the correct buffer so i add to command okay in here okay we need to the bind buffer for gl but created gl vertex buffer then we can set it for vertex and then we can set the color buffer to set it to to color buffer okay okay result will be like this okay do you like it i will upload this code to show that some multiple array usage okay then let's make it uh, with the recommended way so i'll we need to manage one array for vertex attribute okay so i'm using vi editor so i copied this block and then paste it in in here okay okay then i need to come out again then I need I don't need these things okay let's check it again from the start okay I know test for this code and then initialize CL and then vertex shader uh, initialize buffer so we create one buffer and then vertex data it but we don't need the second uh, creation of color buffer does not need it so we need to create element buffer and then initialize shader so it is it looks the same same and because we need to use that that value okay so and then the color the, we will use the attribute the my color will be used as uh, some parameters and then okay go to next 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 yes yeah the there is no change in 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 vertex shader or fragment shader and then we also use the bind attribute location so location because in code my vertex and my color should be used as attributes and then okay and then we need to set in 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 render scene so we don't need we don't need these things so we we need to, there is no the color buffer so we don't need that so but we need to we need to set 
in set attribute. So we need vertex open so binding is required, and then enable vertex array. It's so attribute zero will be enabled, and then one will be enabled, and then vertex attribute pointer with three variable, four variable. I write that. Okay, let's check it with these parameters. Okay, right. Then result will be. I tried. Oh, some problem. Some problem, because the 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 the, uh, the drawing is appears, but the, the, there is a some problem. We came back to the vertex attribute pointer. So in in here, so there is a two parameters. The one is stride, and second thing is offset. So stride is size of vertex array. So so stride and option must be multiple of type size so we used we used uh, the protein point so it, it must be 4x 4 multiply 4 times and then stride is that the, the, the size of size of the vertex so in our array we have seven elements x Y, Z, and R, G, B, A. So seven. So stride should be good. If if we want to go to next vertex, then we need to add twenty eight. And then, in case of R, G, B, A color value, to, we need to jump it in in first. We need to jump it to four, 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 twelve byte. So. So I have changed the code. Okay. So, so stride is everything is twenty eight and twenty eight, and then in case of color, so we need to jump twelve for first color value. Okay. I'll write it, and then I can reload it. Oh yeah, I got it. So we can draw. To triangle okay okay then let's test one more thing we can set attribute with with gl vertex attribute value so i'm trying to change it into color gl dot vertex attribute and i want to change color for f then the one is color so, and then I change it in 1.0 point zero and then I write that so so let's see the, the result okay the loaded it does not work okay so why so I think that it is because we we use the array buffer. So I will change the okay, the code. It, okay, I'll ch make it comment. Then write and then execute. Reload it. Oh, there is an error. So WebGL said that through array has some kind of error. No buffer is bound to enable attributes. Okay, so what does it mean? It said that she enable vertex attribute array, but it no no array is bounded. Okay, so I will remove this line also. Okay, so I save it. Then load it. I like it. We can change the simple color. Do you like it? Press practice. Practice again and again. You can get the, the the idea of this graphics pipeline. Okay. Thank you. N next lecture, the, we will learn how to draw other primitives, for example, pointers, lines, and the triangle with with different the combination. Bye.